Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Anime Reactions, and yay, the kids are out of the house! Until tomorrow night. I don't know what time tomorrow night, but yeah. They are out of the house, I don't have to worry about them. And I am happy about that. <sighs> okay. This is going to be my review for One Piece Episodes 7 and 8. Yes, I got two up. I got two. And it's going to take a while for me to finish. It'll probably be years before I get caught up with the One Piece. Even if that was the only show that I was working on. And I'm not even joking. It would probably take me at least a year or two to get through all of it. If not longer. If Even if that was the one show I was working on. Yeah. So... Luffy and the others are having to deal with Bucky's crew, and they still have to, they finish up with it in the next step, in episode 8, but the episode 7 is Zora versus whatever the guy's name is, and I was thinking, oh, it's going to take a whole episode for this to happen. Nope. Probably lasts, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, and it takes one hit from Zora before the guy goes down. And I'm like, that guy is a lightweight. All that hype. All that hype. And he goes down with three strikes, technically, because he uses three swords from Zora. With Zora being injured from earlier. <sighs> I'm sorry. Meanwhile... Nami goes to steal all the treasure that Buggy's got because, you know, the ship is now destroyed. Or not the ship, the, uh, hideout, I guess. Whatever it's called, whatever it is, is now kind of destroyed, so everybody's out cold. So she takes this opportunity to go and get all the treasure. One of the guys wakes up, and thankfully she's able to knock him back out, snag all the treasure, and make her way back out. And while this is going on, Luffy is now facing off against Buggy, and we actually get a little bit of backstory on Shanks as well, because apparently those two used to be comrades. And, um, through just a, just a mis- uh, I don't know if I say a misunderstanding or an accident, but Buggy hates Shanks and openly disrespects him in front of Luffy, going as far as to- damage the straw hat that Shanks gave him. This ticks off Luffy, who we've never seen really get angry. Angry, angry. We've seen him get upset, but not physically angry. This is the first time we ever see him like this, and turns out that <sighs> they used to be comrades back when they were younger, and Buggy was going to go and use a treasure map that he had found to try and find treasure. And they had found a devil fruit on one of the pirate, one of the ships they had looted. And Buggy was also going to take that. He acted like he ate it, though he didn't. It was just a regular piece of fruit. And he was going to sell the devil fruit because those apparently are, go for very high amounts of money. And as he's preparing to leave, Shanks pops up behind him two separate times. One, making him quickly shove the fruit in his mouth to hide it. And unless Shanks saw the devil fruit, I don't think he would think that's the devil fruit. He probably would think, oh, that's a big piece of fruit. And the next time when Shanks pops up, he swallows the devil fruit. And from what Shanks has told us, he actually confirmed that apparently if you eat a devil fruit, the it'll give you power, but it will take away your ability to swim. Because apparently the ocean will hate you now. And because of the second shock, he accidentally drops the map into the water and he goes after it, forgetting momentarily that he ate the devil fruit and that he now no longer has the ability to swim. Shanks probably didn't realize what had happened because he didn't know that was devil fruit that he ate. And thus, if he had known, he probably would have stopped him from jumping in the water in the first place. So, he grabs him, saves his life. And because of this, 
he can now no longer go get that treasure that is possibly at the bottom of the ocean. But in wherever it was. Which, to be completely honest, it wouldn't surprise me if that ends up being where the Pirate King's treasure actually is. If that ends up being where it is, I will laugh. I will laugh at how stupid everybody is for not even going to check that. Anyway, Luffy gets ticked off, but this is why he's so angry at Shanks and resents him so much. I'm like, yeah, Shanks had no idea. So, Luffy realizes that when, even when, uh, when a buggy ends up separating his body parts like he does, he can still feel anything that happens to his body even when it's separated. For example, when he tries to go after Nami for stealing his treasure, Luffy kicks the guy where you would think that he would kick him. And he feels the pain of it. And he tries to go after Nami again, and, but makes his body into smaller pieces so Luffy can pull the same trick again. And he's able to take him down because of this, but Nami quickly grabs the pieces, ties them up together so he couldn't reform himself, and thus it's easy to take down. So, they all get the heck out of Dodge once the uh, town shows up. Thinking that they had, you know, hurt the mayor, which Luffy technically did. But for a reason, which they didn't get to explain because the, t the town is just so irate at them. So now they have a new crewmate. Anyway, I will try and get some more videos done tonight. I can't guarantee what I'll be able to get done because I don't know what's going to be happening else tonight. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time.